ticker where we give you your daily dose of what's happening now. What is up, Ticker Nation? Today we're going to talk about uh, something that I wish I could have talked about to myself three years ago when we started doing video and blogging, which is kind of if you could follow that. What we're going to be talking about is the four things that I wish I could have told myself back when we got started so we could have made uh, some wiser decisions and done a better job right out of the gate. So hindsight is always 2020, and you always look back and think of all the things that you could do differently. So we're going to give you a few tips on that. One is knowing what you're getting into. It's so difficult sometimes to know what you're going to get into. So we really suggest that you find kind of a mentor, somebody who's been doing what you are wanting to do, whether that be a written post, if it's a monthly post, a weekly post, a daily post. Make sure you know exactly what you're getting into. Next is going to be splurge accordingly. If you're going to be blogging, maybe it's making sure that you get a good theme and you're on a great platform. If it's video, make sure that you understand that when you're looking at editing software, the top half is video and the bottom half is audio. So instead <laughs> of spending $1,000 on a camera and forgetting about a mic, maybe spend 500 and 500 or 300 and 300 or two and two or whatever it takes. Just understand that you're spending accordingly for whatever your goals are and for whatever it is that uh, you're, you're expecting to do. Right, so knowing what you're getting into helps you with that uh, mm -hmm. splurging. And from there, be aware of addiction. This is something that I would have never thought of until we started doing it for a while, but it does become addictive. You will find yourself putting more and more focus on it, and you have to be careful because you have to juggle your business and your home life and all those different things along with your blogging. So. Just beware, it can be very addictive. Absolutely. The last one would be keep your expectations in check. Now, this is definitely true for me over the years of doing all of this. Understand that you need to have your own goals. Just because someone else's videos are getting 100 views or someone else's blog post is getting 2,000 shares doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen for you. Make sure you have your own defined goals for success and make sure that you're meeting your own expectations for whatever it is you're setting up to do, whether it be marketing, video, blogging, whatever it is. Meet your own expectations before you worry about everybody else. Anyway, guys, we hope this post helps and teaches you a few things before you get some things started coming up in the end of Q1 and the startup of Q2 whenever we get super busy in the summer months, as we always do. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe for free over on the side. If you have any questions or comments or things that you wish you had told yourself before you got started on any big project, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Let us know how you avoid having the hindsight 2020 on Facebook, and you can even follow us on Twitter. Bye, guys. You ready? Oh, yeah. oh. Stretch it out. What you doing over there? Doing a jig, doing a jig. All right.